Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't already, please make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. And leave me a like and a comment if you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys like what you saw and you want more videos like this, just let me know. I'm giving a try to everything. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, here's the ingredients we're going to need today. I will go over them one by one for you guys to make green enchiladas and rice first things first you're going to need one cup rice already rinsed two cups water one can tomato and we're going to fry some onions before adding the rice and we're going to add chicken consomme again for the enchiladas you're also going to need chicken consomme salt cheese we're cheesy people so i'm going to use two bags cheese tortillas two cans cream of mushroom two cans cream of chicken butter to fry your tortillas green chile we're using one in a jar. You can make your own green chile, but we already had this one, so I'm just gonna use this one. And a pan to lay out your enchiladas to stick in the oven. So first things first, we're gonna turn on our pan with oil for our rice to about medium heat. We're gonna get it, let it get a little bit hot, and we're gonna add some onions. We're gonna need another pan with a little bit of oil to fry some more onions to make our enchilada sauce. Over here in my pressure cooker, I have chicken thighs with salt, chicken consomme, and I let the timer go around once and I put it again up about halfway. It's almost done and I will check on it. Usually I like to use chicken breasts because they're just much better in my opinion, but you can use whatever type of chicken you'd like. So I basically just eyeball this. I'm going to stick some onions in here, just about that much and a little bit over here. about that much. We're gonna fry these for the rice again and fry these for our sauce. We're not gonna let our onions fry too much because we're gonna throw the cup of rice in there with it. And we're gonna fry them all together. Once you have your rice in there, we're just going to mix it all together. And we're going to let the rice brown just a little bit. When the rice turns about golden color, we know it's ready. Okay guys, once your rice is about this golden brown color, you're going to add your one can tomato. And you're going to add your two cups water. Give it a little mix. Add just a little bit of salt. And we're going to add about this much of chicken consomme give it another mix and we're gonna cover it for about 15 minutes without opening it so here in our onions that are fried we're gonna add our two cans of cream of chicken two cans of cream of mushroom. Then we'll just fill two of these cans with water to add into here. We're gonna bring this to a high boil just so it breaks down the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom. We're going to add two spoons of chicken consomme, some big spoons since I have the little spoon. Just like that. And we're gonna let it boil. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna check on our rice to see how it's looking. So this is what the rice is looking like. I usually just pick up one side, take a look in it, put it right back. It's looking good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water and close it again. I poured a lot of water in here, but I'm not gonna use it all. For 
we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit and we'll check in on it again in about five minutes. Next, you're gonna need a comal just so you can toast your tortillas with butter. I'm gonna start doing that now and setting them to a side so I can do my layers of enchiladas. I'm gonna add some chile to the sauce. I didn't forget, I was just separating some for my grandma because she cannot have chile. So I don't have an exact measurement, I'm just going to eyeball it. Enchiladas are honestly good hot. Okay, so I tasted it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I might as well just add the whole thing. Mix it and taste it again. Cooking to me is all about tasting as you go. You guys are gonna call me crazy, but I like to add a drop or two of green food coloring just for presentation. It makes the sauce just look so much better. So I added the food coloring and now I'm just going to mix it. I'm gonna eyeball it first before I make some crazy green sauce. But trust me guys, it just makes it look so much nicer. I've never used this food coloring, but I'm using it today. So it didn't really do much. So I'm gonna add about two more drops. Oh, or four, whatever. Okay guys, do you see the color the sauce got? I don't know if the camera's catching it, but it looks so much better. And I'm just going to check on our rice again. Looks good. And we're just going to let it sit without a lid and turn the fire off. Okay, guys, now on this flat pan, I had already had it on, but I'm just going to turn it back on because I turned it off. We're going to add some butter. And you need a spatula. I personally like my tortillas very buttery. You guys could add less if you want or use oil, but that's just what I prefer. I usually do three at a time. But these tortillas are kind of small that I think I can do four. We're just going to let those toast for a little bit, flip them, and I'll continue making them and put them in here. I didn't show you guys, but I already took out my chicken and I broke it up, I guess. I wouldn't know how you say that. But here's my chicken ready to be laid out in a pan for the enchiladas. So now that my tortillas are kind of curling up, I'm just going to turn them around. Okay, now I'm just going to take my tortillas out and stick them in here and make some more. We're gonna turn on our oven to about 350 just so we can throw our enchiladas in there when they're done. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna show you how I lay the enchiladas out on the plate. It's not hard, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. I like to put a little bit of sauce at the bottom first before adding the tortillas. So once you have your tortillas laid out on your pan, you can go ahead and add some chicken. And some cheese.
sleep until your pan is full. Okay guys, I'm now on my last layer so we can stick it in the oven. what my enchiladas are looking like all done and in the oven they were in there for about 10 minutes and that's just enough to get it heated up and the cheese melted Extra cheesy is our favorite. There it is, guys. My enchiladas, rice, and beans. Ready guys? Mm. The rice. Okay guys, that's all I have for today's video. If you guys can go ahead and just leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys try the recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye.